Look at this. So, like, I like to read a lot, especially on Sundays. You know, I don't really, I don't really plan a lot on Sundays. And I thought this was like, I thought this was wild. I just come across this article. I'd heard about this, I guess, like a month or two ago. Um, you know, Aston Martin's getting into the real estate business. If you guys don't know who Aston Martin is, like, I um, I had a friend of mine that actually bought an Aston Martin car. This was several years ago. And he was, um, I go to his office and, you know, I knew he'd been looking at like really, really expensive cars. And he goes, Hey, I got, Hey, do you see my Aston Martin? And I was looking at him like, damn, I didn't know what an Aston Martin was. Like a year later, I'm watching Entourage, that HBO show. And, uh, Vinny Chase buys all of his friends, Aston Martins, literally, um, as like just a gift, you know? And I was like, Holy shit, that's the same car that my buddy had. So, um, I was looking here and it appears that Aston Martin is getting into the real estate business. They, um, I guess it's going to get more and more common, but, uh, you know, they broke ground. They've got new Aston Martin residences. Um, this, this article is like a couple of weeks old. This, this came out like mid October. It's almost a month old, but, but still it's like brand new news to me. Um, so, I think it's insane. They're actually building luxury submarines and boats and all kind of stuff. So it says that uh, it's being very picky about projects it collaborates with to avoid diluting its brand. I mean, there's only like a couple of markets in the country that I think you could build like a condo with a brand like, like this. And I mean, Miami, of course, being the top one. Um, look at it let's see here i mean it's it's quite uh quite amazing quite amazing i got um i got john on here with me today if john uh probably should unmute you <laughs> hey john hey man hey what's going on dude so i was um i was just talking i was just kind of introducing things while you were getting on so man so i was reading through the news today and um turns out that there are some uh Aston Martin's building a condo building in Miami. What do you think about that? I think that's uh totally cool. I mean uh, if they're gonna do it in Miami, I mean you got a few markets that you can act, you know, like five or six markets that you might be yeah, able to like where else could you do this other than Miami? Like maybe you could do it like in Las Vegas, maybe. Miami, San Diego, up to LA, somewhere in there, probably more LA. Um, maybe New York, but it'd be maybe New York, uh, Dallas or Austin, maybe. Um, yeah, that's about it. That's about it. Maybe yeah, so these guys, I've been re I've been reading about this this morning. And I th I think it's amazing. Like we don't we don't have luxury real estate like this in Myrtle Beach. I mean, no, you, don't. you know, we don't have this in Myrtle Beach. I mean, you know, um, but uh, these guys bought the, bought the site for $125 million a couple of years ago. Wow. According to this, I mean, this is a month old. It said they'd received $150 million in deposits and they expect that, um, it says they expect to make about a billion dollars from condo sales. I think that must be gross sales though. I don't think that's gross. Pro I don't think that's net profits. Yeah, that can't be. That can't be. I mean, that's insane. Um, this is not the first automaker to get in into this. And, uh, I, I tell you the thing that disappointed me, I tell you what, the thing that's, um, that ho holding me back from sending my deposit check in today is, um, the, uh, the, the Aston Martin condo building doesn't mm -hmm. have car garages, but the Porsche one does. There's a Porsche, there's a Porsche condo building going up too. How, how can you build a, how can you build something in a city and not have parking? Well, well, they do have parking, but the Porsche one has actually parking garages. So, well, parking elevators. I'm sorry, I, I said that oh. wrong. So basically, you can like pull your car into the elevator and like I guess take it up to your house. I guess. Oh yeah, I, I definitely need that. That's what I need. That's what I need. I always I always worry about my car when I leave it outside. Mm. So look at this. Uh, look at this. Um, so let me find it here. I think it's um. I think the thing is shaped like a sail. 
the pool is like on the on like the sixtieth floor. That's kind of cool. I mean, dude, you know, there's I'm finding this out, I'm sure you are too. There's a lot of people out there with a lot of ridiculously deep pockets that can afford this. And if I could afford it, you probably wouldn't see me there unless I never ever had to worry about millions and millions of dollars again. But um what what's the asking price for one? Dude, they're absolutely insane. They they go from like six or seven hundred thousand dollars, you know, the entry level. Yeah. First time home buyer price range to uh, fifty million for the there's some kind of three story penthouse. Um, with it, let's see. I was looking for a picture of it. Yeah, it's got a triplex penthouse. Goes from a uh, range from seven hundred square feet to nineteen thousand square feet. It's priced from six hundred thousand to fifty million dollars. Yeah, look at that. That's insane. Yeah, fifty million dollars. Like I, I think I could solve world hunger. <laughs> yeah, yeah, $50 million for your new uh, Aston Martin thing. But let's see, let's see. Well, I, got the, I got the page. I got the actual official page. Let's see if I can play the video. I don't know if I can play the video or not. I don't even know anybody that's ever owned an Aston Martin. I, how did you say it? Ashton? I, Aston? 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 Yeah. I, I didn't know what they were until Entourage. Uh Real men buy Bentleys. Let's see, can you hear it coming on your end too? No, I have this. Uh, yeah. yeah, I didn't know if you could hear it or not. Yeah, it's um. Let's see, can I do it so that people can hear that? I have no idea. You know, hold on, keep playing it. Let's see, video settings. Yeah, yeah I didn't know if you could hear it or not. Yeah, it's um. Let's see, can I? You know, I have no idea. You know, hold on. Keep playing it. Let's see video settings. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Can you hear me? Uh, yeah, I can hear you. Okay. Yeah, I was playing with it on the uh, Facebook, but I couldn't. I could. I don't know if it was cutting in and out or what. Yeah, I'm not sure. You know, it's they. They got a good looking video. Hmm. I mean, it's kind of it's kind of cool, you know. They probably use the new iPhone 10 for it. Yeah, they use the new iPhone 10 for the video. Um, let's see, we got panoramic vistas of the bay. Yeah, I think this. I think the whole thing is um absolutely wild. I think it's, it's insane. You know what I mean? I think it's absolutely insane the amount of. I don't even know what the word I'm looking for, but that kind of money that is just thrown around and wasted. And I'll tell you what, I don't know if you ever been to Miami beach. I stayed at the Ritz last year for an event. I couldn't even walk to the beach without getting panhandled six times. So oh, yeah. you got, yeah. these, you got this $50 million condo and homeless people outside. It's like, this is something wrong with this equation. Oh, look at the amenities. They got 42,275 square feet of amenities divided into Four floors connected by a monumental glass staircase. Jesus, that's what I need. Yeah. I need a glass staircase. I think I think I think people sometimes can have um, a moral compass that might be uh, a little off skew a little bit. Oh, listen to this. Listen to this though. This is good. Um, level fifty five. I guess fifty fifth floor. Residents can avail themselves of superb facilities and services carefully selected to heal the mind, relax the body, and lift the spirit, all virtually steps from their doors. Mm. Unless you're that, that 600,000 square foot guy, you, you're probably at the bottom. Your, mm -hmm. your view is of the parking lot. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh, that's on the 55th level. 54th level, oh, the 55th level, you got the pool, you got the deck, you got the cabanas. Got the salon, dude, chef's kitchen. 54, we got virtual golf and two movie theaters. Hmm. I, I do think that's kind of cool. Like, I feel like oh, if, totally if cool. I was going to live in a, um, a high rise condo on the beach, I, I lived oceanfront for a little while in Myrtle Beach. And um, I'll be honest with you, I didn't really like it. Like, but see, in the winter months, everything, everybody goes home here. So that, so sometimes I'd walk around the, the building like at night or late afternoon. I'd be like the only person there. It was kind of creepy. Like the beginning of one of those zombie movies. 
Um, mm. And two, I only had one window and it looked out at the ocean, you know. Um, it was like a two bedroom condo. It, wa- it wasn't like this. It wasn't the Aston Martin one. You, d- you didn't have yeah. a movie theater on the 54th fourth floor? I didn't. It was, I mean, it was disappointing, you know. You I feel like I was thing? sold. <laughs> I was sold on the movie theater, then they didn't have one. Yeah. I had cable. That's a plus. <laughs> yeah. yeah, cable was included. Um, let's see. Oh, man, 54th floor. Got meditation rooms. Got a spinning room. I think that's, that sounds exciting. Hmm. I got a boxing room, a spinning room, beauty salon, barber station. They got, it, they got everything there. Laura asked if she can bring my dog. So she can bring I, copper. I, I thought it know. was his dog from what I was to understand. Laura, I'm sorry. He thought it was my dog? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, he's uh, – I mean, he could probably go. I mean, he's probably yeah. – um, He's probably Austin. More- he, he he's Austin Martin pedigree for sure. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's he's more refined than some of the residents will be. <laughs> his refined taste and his eating habits. <laughs> he uh, let's see, man, let's see. We looked at that. I think oh. I, I I think Kia was going to open one in uh, Myrtle Beach, weren't they? <laughs> yeah, yeah, Kia is going to open one. We're going to have a a Honda Accord resort. I see four plans. No, dude, yeah. luxury condos, man, they're a big thing. And the ironic thing is, I mean, up here we have Lake Winnipesaukee, which is a huge lake, right? And, you know, a lot of people have these, you know, 10, 12, 20 million dollar lake properties, the Anirondack Lake property, you know? Yeah. And they're here for two weeks out of the year. Same thing with these. The people that buy them, you know, they're there for two, three weeks out of the year, but they have it, you know? And they're, they, they probably own yachts and everything, and they, these things are all like write-offs to them. And it's like we sit here and say, wow, would I ever do that? It, it, and what it comes down to is, right, a financial blueprint that is ingrained within, it, within us. If you have a $50,000 a year job, you can't fathom living like that. You're always just like, oh, that must be nice. But the reality of the fact is anybody can get to that level. Anybody it's just, what are you willing to sacrifice to get there? What do you, what, what pain are you willing to feel? And I, pain doesn't, isn't necessarily a negative thing. I know it's thrown around negatively. Like you stub your toe, you get paid. What I mean is pain of sacrifice. You know, you stop yeah. going out to eat every day. If you stopped watching Beverly Hills housewives or uh, dancing with the stars and you actually worked and worked on a project or tried to fill a deficiency, you have every opportunity to get to that level. But most people don't want to feel that pain and will sit there on TV and watch and go, ooh, ah, nice, you know? Yeah. But I'll tell you what, I would love nothing more than walking out on that balcony overlooking overlooking that uh, that that pool, looking out into the wire blue yonder saying, wow, this is unreal, you know? Yeah. I don't, I don't need to have my car in my room. There's, there's a certain level of um, pompousness that comes with that, that I think. Somewhere in between, somewhere in between the 60th floor and, 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 and you know, uh, the 30th floor, I think, would be happy. Yeah. I mean, you know, like, I don't know. I feel like for $50 million, I need my car in my room. Yeah. For Well, for $50 million, I think I'm going to have my own house somewhere. <laughs> yeah, I think I'd, I think I'd rather have a house, I yeah. think, you know. Like, um, you know, I think it's, you know, one of the things I think is really interesting is, um, when we look at this, we look at this sort of marketing, you know, in the real estate business and like, I got it pulled up right now on their, um, not their Twitter page, their Instagram page. And you look at the, um, look at the pictures on it and look at the hashtags. Like this one picture is hashtagged all London stuff, you know, it's hashtag yeah. like London lifestyles, downtown London, London events, London party. London fashion. I think that's, um, I think it's pretty interesting. Oh, it is. And you know, the funny thing is humans are a pack animal, right? We are, we have a pack mentality, so we need to belong to a pack, right? So decide which pack you want to belong to. Do you want to belong to the, the pack of the trailer people, you know, trap houses, or do you want to belong to the track of, 
you know, 250,000. We always talk about the sum of the five people you're around most. It's deeper than that. You know what I mean? That, that's just the surface saying, so you can kind of open your eyes to it. But it's so much deeper than that. Because those, when you're hanging out with those five people, you're going to better restaurants and better hotels where you're around people that are all on your same level. Now, next thing you know, you've moved up a level and you didn't even realize you did. Um, so we're pack animals. So choose your pack carefully because these multimillionaires, they want to hang out with multimillionaires, right? Yeah. They want to hang That's out right. with like-minded people. So if you want to get to that next level, you got to stop eating at freaking Applebee's and go to the, to go to a bistro where other, you know, people are hanging out or a wine bar or a country club or you know what I mean? Start, start buying the filet mignon at the steakhouse because it, it, you know, you got to step it up a little bit because that's where those people are. Yeah. You know, though, I think there's some opportunity. I think there's some opportunity, though, like in marketing, like to sell a luxury property like this. Now, I'll, sure. I'll tell you what I think it is and you tell me what you think. So, so we look at this and we go like, holy shit, Aston Martin, I don't sell $50 million condos. I don't sell six. I don't sell, you know, $700,000 condos. I will tell you, for seven hundred grand, you can get something amazing in Myrtle Beach. You can get an amazing oceanfront condo, right? For um, fifty million, you could probably get half the building. For fifty million, you might be able to get the city at this point. Sometimes, you know, that happens. You know, <laughs> <laughs> there's a at least a, we have all kind of things happening in Myrtle Beach. But but here's the thing: like, if you're going out there and you're creating content around, and say, like, you're creating content around Aston Martin. I mean, like, like this video, like before we started doing this, I'll, I'll tell you why I said, Hey John, let's, Hey, you want to do this? Um, you want to talk to me about Aston Martin? You want to talk to me about buying an Aston Martin on Facebook live? Okay. I know that if I made this video and I put it in on Facebook, but then I put it in my YouTube channel, mm. there isn't a lot of Aston Martin condo content out there. Yeah. And, um, here's the thing. Like if, you guys started looking for projects like this, even though, uh, you know, we don't live in Miami and I'm not, I have nothing to do with Aston Martin condos or marketing any type of luxury real estate. But a lot of those luxury high end brands get lost when people are actually like building, building um, content around, you know, mm -hmm. whatever it is. So like a lot of people will say build content around, I'm, I'm going to use Carolina forest as an example here, because Carolina forest is kind of like, it's kind of like a real popular spot. It's right in the middle of, um, right in the middle of Myrtle Beach, and every, you know, all these real estate agents get into the business, and they go, "Oh, I want to go sell in Carolina Forest," and really, Carolina Forest is just—I mean, they're just regular houses. There's not nothing really special, not anything really special, right? So everybody's creating content around Carolina Forest. And the thing is, it's really hard to rank in search engines for Carolina forest type stuff and get noticed um, for Carolina forest type stuff. However, Aston Martin residences, Aston Martin condos, Aston Martin condos for sale, Aston Martin luxury homes, things like that. There's no content around it. There's no content around it today, right? Mm -hmm. So um, I think there's an opportunity. There's a hole in our market. It is, or as a hole like on the internet. Mm -hmm. where there's an opportunity to market luxury communities and luxury brands um, because nobody else is doing it. Everybody else assumes everybody else is going for that, that area that everybody wants. Right. Yeah. You know, it's kind of like, kind of like if we wanted to rank for like mobile homes for sale, like Myrtle beach mobile homes for sale, we could probably in 30 days, we could probably be in the top 10 for sure. Mm -hmm. If we were to rank for Myrtle beach condos, it probably ain't going to happen, you know, in the next 12 months, right? If I wanted to rank for Miami condos, it may never happen. I mean, it's going to be a tremendous amount of work and it's going to cost you a lot of money to get to the top of the search engines. However, if we wanted to rank for Aston Martin condos for sale, Aston Martin pre-construction condos, you know, things like that, we could probably rank for those. Like we could probably build content around those, be really smart with our hashtags on Instagram and stuff like that. And we could probably rank for that, that condo building in, you know, 30, 45 days, we could start showing up in search engines without a whole lot of trouble, you know, maybe sooner. 
take you know? take what you just said and, and expand upon it, right? So the 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 the, the top level message I got from that. Yeah. Be different. Don't be like everybody else. If everybody yeah, there's, else there's an opportunity here. Yeah, you won't stand out. Be different and stand out. Do so. There's a dude down in Boston, right? I can't remember his name, but he wears he always wears some piece of orange on him because his, his I think he's Oh, like, you're talking about Chris Record. Maybe. Yeah, Chris Record. I'm, I we met him at uh Break Free Academy. In right. And, yeah. And he always posts on fa- on social, I'm going to be at this Starbucks, I'm going to be at this coffee house, look for the guy with orange on, right? Yeah. And, and he runs his entire business throughout Boston at coffee shops. <laughs> That's funny. You know what he he said? I thought this was kind of funny. He said that all of his videos, he's got orange hats and he makes rap videos. Have you ever seen him on YouTube? No. Yeah, he makes these rap videos. He's got a new one for Click Funnels. And it's um it's pretty entertaining. Um, the most of them he has is pretty entertaining. And he was telling us um, during his talk, he said that he spent less than $1,000 per video. And what his goal was for this year was to put out one rap video per one rap video per um, per week. And he talked about what was going into these things. And it, it was pretty interesting. He was talking about how many views and how many shares and all this stuff he was getting. And um, it's well-produced, really well-produced content for like a really small budget. And a lot of it's mm-hmm. actually shot on like a lot of it's shot on cell phones. Dude, I'll tell you what, I, I'm almost all of my video and some of the other videos are shot on an iPhone, uh, whatever it is, 6. And as long as you put good audio to it and you edit it after, man, you, you can do some good stuff with it. Yeah, yeah. You know, um, uh, let's talk about that whole whole content creation thing here just a minute because I don't, I don't ever talk about this. Like, we always talk about going out and prospecting and making calls and actually, like, really um, – really doing human touches not really we don't really talk much about um either one of us i don't think talk much about like going out there creating content to generate us real estate business you know Mm -hmm. um you know what man i looked at a bunch of different places and um one thing i didn't see anywhere is what's happening on the site right now you know like there's no pictures of like what's there now you know what i mean you mean like real time photos as yeah like real time photos like what was going on in the aston martin site last week you know yeah. what was going on on the aston martin site you know two weeks ago um Dude, I, i'd have a, i'd have time lapse video there <laughs> yeah i mean no yeah nobody has time lapse video nobody I, has i'm pretty really sure much. i'm going out on a limb on this one i'm pretty sure they might be able to afford it you know, I feel like this is like a good example of of this whole like idea that I'm talking about because I mean this is this is Aston Martin. They paid 125 million dollars for just the ground. It's going to be a billion dollar development. So I feel like they've probably hired the best marketing people they can hire. Sure. And you know, you look at this stuff and yeah, they got like a really pretty video here. That's, I mean, it's scrolling across the screen. Now they got a really pretty video and they got a car and they're showing you know, some pictures and artist renditions and stuff, but there's really not really any information like past the floor plan and the price and the amenities, you know? Yeah. Yeah. I think you that, you know, um, what, though? they may have hired the very best, but the second best also has some pretty cool ideas. Yeah. Well, you know, I think this gives us the idea or the, at least the, the space where we can actually as individual real estate agents and our marketing budget and our talents of content creation and stuff, you can really pretty cheaply um, compete with this mm-hmm. because I mean, there are those, there are some people out there that are like, Oh, I want to go to the, I want to actually go to the, um, go to the, the actual people but then there are a lot of people that are going hey you know what i'm seeing the information there but you know uh yeah i can spend a million dollars on a condo but i want to know what's across the street i want to know you know like you know what else is there you know what i mean think about this too right how did how did you come across this article oh i think i saw it on cnn okay 
So even CNN, um, you know, all these companies, all these web companies and everything else like that, uh, advertising companies and everything, they're serving articles based upon your cookie read, your behavior. I actually worked for a company in the 90s, late 90s during the dot-com boom that actually helped create cookie re their cookie reading technology. Were they the first ones or whatever? Oh, they were the one, they were pioneers in it. So who knows whether they were first, second, and third, but they're the ones who created a company called AdSmart that was purchased by Engage, which was purchased by CGI. Um, and so they're going to be doing the same thing out there. And this is what I think some people need to really take some time and understand. And, you know, before I say this, I just want to say this. I said this last week in my, my group and in a couple other um, places. We get hung up on the term realtor. Realtor is just a badge that they give us. We're not, if you sit there and call yourself and anytime somebody asks you what you do and you say, I'm a realtor, you just put yourself into a box, right? You gotta, you gotta let yourself out of that box. Realtor is just one tenth of what you are, right? You're a business owner, you're a digital marketer, you're a web producer, you're all sorts of things, right? Um, you can't just execute as a realtor and think that you'll survive in this business because you have to execute as a manager, a CEO, a, a digital market, and all, all the other pieces in an organization. But you need to take some time to learn um, targeted marketing, you know, demographic marketing through Facebook because this article – I, I don't think that the people sitting in, and this, is, this isn't meant disrespectfully, the people sitting in the trailer park, they're not going to see that article. <laughs> you know um, you know who's going to see that article? People that, have, uh, that are demographically marketed that are either going to have the means to sell that, that are connected to sell that, that have a big reach, or have, have the financial means to do it, or live in certain particular areas where wealth is, right? Yeah. Well, dude, look at, look at this right here, though. I got it pulled up right now. Man, Aston Martin condos. You look down through the content that's available, right? We got somebody that bought the actual domain name, and they got some spaces in it. Oh, well, actually, they apparently um, you can buy that domain name. Huh, look mm. at there. Huh. Oh, somebody should uh, probably grab that domain name that's listening to this. Um, yeah, until you get hit with trademark, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'll tell you what, that's probably why it's, why it's done because they actually have Aston Martin condo in the actual name, you know. Yeah. Um, but uh, you look at most of the stuff, the Business Insider article, mm -hmm. all these articles, literally, it started out south the same the luxury car brand known for its appearances in James Bond franchise. Let's see. British automaker, which closely associated with James Bond movie franchise. Let's go to this article. Let's get the picture there first. It's not overcast in London, but you can envision James Bond living here, you know? Mm. Uh, Miami Broke Ground is the British sports cars firm. All of them basically were wrote from the exact same press release. Uh, I feel like I'm reading. I feel like I'm it's reading the same article over and over again. Yeah, I feel like I'm reading Inman. I, when I read it on Inman, I felt like I've read it another place before <laughs> that's funny sometimes that happens you know yeah it's pretty true <laughs> yeah so i mean all these places have the exact same information so as a real estate agent you know these agents talking about hey i can't get leads online or you know pay per click or facebook's too expensive you know why not create content i mean here's another one i mean this is almost the same one as the other one it just doesn't mention um james bond in the beginning of it but uh it mentions I don't even know how to say that word, British luxury car brand, immortalized in James Bond's film since the 60s. Yeah, I mean, it's literally the same article with the same stuff, and almost all of them have that same, uh, the same pictures, you know? Mm -hmm. I mean, an agent can go out there and compete. Like, like, if you're in Miami, well, actually, you don't even have to be in Miami. They will probably pay referrals, you know? But... um you could compete with that. Look at this. High snob, high snob, biety, high snobiety. I don't even know what that means. High snob, snobiety. Yeah. yeah. I can't even say that. You know, you should buy the main name that maybe that should be a suggestion. Buy a name, but 
domain name that people can pronounce. Yeah, this is the same article too. Wrote from the same press release. Mm. Yeah, so if you're an agent in Miami, man, you could go out and create like three or four, you know, three or four solid pieces of content, you know, on different platforms and you could dominate, you know, the search engines and dominate that space for Aston Martin condos. Then when they're built, you actually go in and take real pictures and stuff. I mean, if you could be the first or second person online to put, you know, real pictures or real video of Aston Martin residences, you know, that'd be pretty cool, man. Pretty cool. Aston Martin, Miami tower. Oh, look at there. We can lease an Aston Martin for $21.99. Let's see. Design Tower. This must be a realtor site. Oh, look at this, man. This is probably the worst one of them. And it's ranking in the top. They, they literally just stole the pictures from in, the developer pictures from Instagram. <laughs> Perfect. Uh, listen, listen to this. 10% at time of contract, 10% at groundbreaking, 10% at the time of the foundation, 10% pedestal complete. I'm not sure what that means. And then 10% top off and then the balance at closing. So this thing isn't going to be finished until 2022. You know, Jason, everything that you're talking about, just I've been over here just doing some things like we're talking about Miami Beach, right? And yep. one of the things that I, I mean, I spent a lot of time on GoDaddy trying to come up with creative different names or connect or, or, or whatever, you know, that I've shared a few of them with you. Yeah. Um, but if, if I was in my if I was an agent in Miami and not even just talking about these towers, just, just to, let, let's take the towers, for instance, where you could make that a highlighted article on your website. See, everybody gets, I, I, I feel this. I feel everybody gets lazy and they just want a website that's going to do all the work for you where that's why search optimization actually works and you need to learn some SEO stuff. You need to learn some digital marketing stuff because when you start writing content, you start blogging, the internet, Facebook, they love new creative content, right? They don't want yeah. to see regurgitated. So if you stop putting out your own content, now I just looked, um, I just looked on, on GoDaddy real quick. I would have a website like Miami beach alive.com available for nine, 11 bucks, right? 12 bucks. Um, Miami beach living dot live, right? Miami living dot biz. I mean, these are all realistic sites and you can, you know, get creative and they actually have like a dot today that you can get. And, you know, same thing with Myrtle Beach dot today, you know what I mean? Or Myrtle Beach dot online. There's so many different um, things that you can get. And I know that dot com is the most recognized top level domain. And if you're putting anything on print media, you kind of want to have a dot com because it gives you that credibility if you would that you're a real company but there's so many other top level domains that are available now right like dot live dot online dot community and all that other stuff and you when you're doing social media and facebook and digital marketing and all these other things it doesn't really care if it says dot com because you have things like bitly and all these other things that you're probably gonna jam in there anyways because you're pointing it to a particular article or a particular page or whatnot so now all of a sudden you're, you're going out there and you're building content hyper local content around your area which is now reaching out there in a way that these other ones can't when you can go by and do a week by week assessment of the new Austin Martin building, who's doing that now all of a sudden, oh, you, yeah. right? So you want to talk about building content. You want to talk about building stuff. Agents need to start learning a little bit. I think, I think entrepreneurs in general need to start learning digital marketing a little bit deeper, really not just saying I need digital marketing, but understanding, you know, for me, it's always understanding why, right? Why do I need it? <laughs> yeah. That's um, right. You need it because you know you need it. You need it, and why do you need to learn it? Because you need to know how it operates, because how can you guide anybody unless you, you know how it operates, right? You, if you want to be an effective captain, you need to understand how all this stuff operates and why it's important so you can point them in the right direction and then employ the right people to do it. 
Yeah. But look at all that Austin Martin content. Imagine you now start get it. You're in Miami or you're in you know some other place. Um, hell, if you're in San Diego, you can write about this article too, right? Because um, San Diego, just as nice as Miami Beach, right? Um, so you could maybe swing somebody over. But if you start writing about this stuff and blogging about it two or three times a week, real good content and learning what the key buzzwords oh. are and stealing the key buzzwords from the articles, you can swing an audience in your favor. Well, well dude, you know, Aston Martin condos for sale, right? That's an action buying keyword. Mm -hmm. If you're searching Aston Martin condos for sale, you're probably looking at, you probably already have a little bit of information about this. And you're actually kind of looking for information for sale, right? Yep. That that's I feel like that's an action keyword, right? Meaning that's a, that's a buying one. If you sure. look at this, man. The number one result for this is Miami condo lifestyle. This looks like a real estate page. It looks and, like a bad one too. Yeah, look, they've got a. They actually have. Um, <laughs> they that's actually have right. ads on the right hand side. <laughs> Scroll all the um, way down. I want to see who 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 is who's uh if they n announce who Vanderburg Properties. <clears throat> no, I wanted to see if it was like a um a company that actually put that together. Mm, but yeah, look what he's got down here. That's all for SEO, right? So does your website yeah, that's it that's all that this person's done. I mean, that's it. Yeah. And they're ranking number one for uh for Aston Martin Condors for sale. Let's see the the next one. Let's let's look at like a few of these kind of solutions, dude. This is a page that's probably pulled from MLS. Yeah, this is probably just your MLS page. So I mean, it's just a list of kind of things. Very very little information there. But it looks nicer, doesn't it? And I believe it does look nicer. This is more. I let's believe this is more all day. But then let's see the number three person. The number three person, HQ Realty. This is probably something. Well, I don't know, man. Their prices are cheaper. Maybe we should buy from this guy. I think so. Maybe he's, maybe he's yeah. waving his commission. Waving commission. Maybe so. I mean, but this really. It's a nice site. Yeah, that's a nice looking page. That, that's a. Um, But you know, I think the the key to this, I mean, look at the rest of them. We'll CNN. Money. <laughs> yeah, money, CNN's ranking for it. Yeah. Um, Miami residences, pre construction. Oh, this is a pre construction site. So this guy probably, this guy probably, uh, probably, but you know, the information he has on here is the same information that every other site has. Yeah, all they do I mean, is borrow from each other. There's no nothing, nothing real outside of that you know what i mean no real information mm -hmm. let's see the rest oh there's inman there's inman there's the page that doesn't exist okay. yeah. primary luxury homes so there isn't really isn't anybody really going after that keyword aston martin condos for sale mm -hmm. so i mean you could um you could compete with that like pretty easy like without a whole lot of effort even if you're not in even if you're not in miami you could, um, yeah, Sean, Sean, Pat, Sean McKay said it's uh, trash keyword stuff. <laughs> that's what a lot of them are. They're keyword stuff, you know? Yeah. So yeah, you could compete with that. I mean, you could outrank Inman. I mean, you could outrank Miami trends, you know, it wouldn't be taking a lot of energy and a lot of effort. I mean, this, this video, this video may outrank these things and, um, and YouTube. Good. And there, there, you just said something that's so vitally important for entrepreneurs and real estate agents to understand. Video is awesome, right? And if you put it on YouTube, YouTube's owned by Google, right? So it's going to rank and they want video to rank more because people watch video more and there's more interaction and everything else like that. But you also want to optimize your YouTube. You want to put link backs to your website because link backs is very powerful, right? Um, and then when you're getting people active, you know, clicking on the link back from YouTube, boy, that ranks highly. You want to put uh, keywords in there and don't put the same keywords as everybody else's. And that's what people make mistakes. Spend some time learning about keywords and keyword optimization, you know, and there's free tools out there. And if not, you can pay like eight bucks on Fiverr to get the report. Yeah, exactly.
Exactly. But now all of a sudden you have a video out there that's linking over to your site and, you know, since it's likes video more and, you know, definitely well, let's watch this video. I bet you after a week, your, your video is going to, uh, yeah. Yeah. Over. Let's see. Aston Martin condos. I'm going to tag it. Aston Martin condos and just kind of see what happens. But look here, dude, even the videos, man, there's the one there by elevator world. I don't know who that is, but I'd be willing to bet that most of these videos are slideshows. Yeah. Um, there's really not, um, I mean, there's what? us news, LG realty group. I don't know who that is Miami real estate official. They get, they got 10,000 views, but there's one with 11 views. I mean, there isn't really much competition there either. You know, go up to that one at the very top. It had 1.1 thousand views. Is that the original? Um, that's Let's the elevator. That. That's the elevator world. Yeah. Great logo. They got that on Fiverr. Oh yeah. That's nice. Oh, this is like a little podcast. But I mean, it's very, I don't know if you can hear it. I can hear it a little bit. And so it's basically just uh, what I would consider a static picture movie. Yeah, it's a, yep. Actually, this isn't even, um, this is something about selling a book. Mm. Yeah, this is something about selling a book. <laughs> yeah, that's, that sucks. That's not even related. Honestly, brilliant. <laughs> Good yeah, <clip. laughs> I mean, yeah, exactly. Let's see. Here's the, here's the Aston Martin video. Okay, that, that is just an effect with inside of um, like um, iMovie where you can pan it. I forget what it's called. You can pan in and pan out. Yeah, yeah. That's all this is. And this is, this is the Aston Martin. This is the Aston Martin channel. It's got three subscribers. Look at that. Hmm. Oh, they got a dot com. So, yeah, man. So interesting times. There's always opportunity, you know? I think agents need to study this stuff more, get on YouTube, see what other people, you know, you, unfortunately, I don't think you get to see their tags, but you get to see what other people are doing and how they're putting in their descriptions and things like that because the web crawlers go out there and crawl all this stuff. Yeah. Oh, dude, look at this one. This was by at Aston Martin Residences. So I, I imagine this is like an official video. They got 13 subscribers. Mm. And, dude, all it is is a video that's a slideshow of their floor plans. I mean, there's nothing really, I mean. Which is the interesting thing. They have so many different readers and such out there that we don't even know about that we can only theorize that they have. And these readers read, is that the same content that's been out there before? Is that the same picture that's been out there before? Is that the same post that's been out there before? Okay. Oh yeah. These so when you are... go and make your own video with unique content, right? And when I say unique, you created it somehow, even if it's just a standing in front of the site video, it's going to recognize that's not out there anymore. We want to push that and they do push it and they bury the other stuff. That's yeah. true. Look at this one. This is, a, this is actually, that was a time lapse thing. Mm. So I hope they get a picture of the car. This is a brokerage that created this video. But still, dude, it's just a slideshow. It doesn't really have much information. It doesn't have much information. I feel like this video probably has more Aston Martin condo information than, than um, any, uh, any video that's out there. Here's something from Helmet Real Estate. Hola TV. Oh, this guy. They, they got it Spanish. I, th I think they might have a small Spanish population in Miami. Yeah, I think so. Mm. That's actually smart, you know. It's going to be – I would, gonna be I would have like – you know, if I could speak any other language besides broken English, I'd probably have other websites and, and those fluencies. You know, but that's the thing, though. You can create all that stuff so, so much easier. So All you got to do, dude, on the bottom of so many websites is just click uh, or click the button. Yeah, translate. Yeah. You know, look at this though. On the front page for the results here, um, I mean, it's got Jay Leno's garage. Like pretty much after you get about halfway down, three quarters of the way down, you're not even seeing real estate stuff anymore when you're yeah. searching Aston Martin condos. 
you're seeing like car videos and stuff. Yeah. Cause it's just Austin Martin. Yeah. That's Austin because, Martin. uh, as, that's because, you know, there's not really any more unique content. That's it. Hmm. Isn't that amazing? I mean, I, when I first seen this and I started looking at this before, before we done this video, I was like, Oh man, I bet there's tons of Aston Martin condo stuff. I bet agents have been all over this, but, but they're not, I mean, the poor sites just like this. I mean, whatever the luxury community is in your area is probably the same way. You know what I mean? Now Where there's not really a lot of content for agents. Let's dumb it down. I don't mean dumb it down in a negative way. Let, let's scale it down um, to the average. What's going on in your community? What are the hot buttons in your community? What can That's you start it. blogging about? Hell, even having a community page in Facebook and then blogging and dumping your blogs onto Facebook from your WordPress site and then having you know your WordPress site linked over to your YouTube video, right? And uh, your organic video or your live video on your Facebook community page and stuff like that. Make sure you don't let realtors in. That's perfectly fine. And now all of a sudden, when somebody types in your town news or your town something, all of a sudden, boom, right? Huge. That's right. That's right, man. Well, I tell you what, um, I think it, I think we got enough content here to like see what happens. Mm -hmm. So, um, so I tell you what, man, we're going to go get some uh, breakfast because it's Sunday morning and I don't know where we're going, but we're going to get some breakfast, man. And well, I'll upload this to YouTube before we leave and then we'll watch where it shows up in the Aston Mark condo circus. Awesome. All right. Cool, man. Hey dude, I appreciate it. Thanks, John. You got it. Bye.